Hi guys and welcome to our channel Catastrophe Sailing. I'm Rune. And I'm Lika. Together we bought a 40 foot leopard named Mitsu. We sold our house and all our stuff back in Denmark, quit our jobs and finally ditched our kids. Now we're full time liverboards, plan to see as much of the world as we can with the money we have left. So please join us on our journey here on YouTube. So we cut out the hole here and we now made a template for the shelf that we're going to place the batteries on, the two of them. And we made a support in the far end over there. And now we're going to drill the support on the side here and hope that we don't drill all the way through to the cabin so that's what we're doing now so we put in one screw and it didn't go through to the cabin but we found a new cabin for Mika then. <laughs> no. or a cave are you a cave woman <laughs> yeah I am <laughs> look at the other side <laughs> look how it's shaking <laughs> I like big butts and again, not lie. <laughs> Are you okay in there? Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, good. I'm ready for the next hole. <laughs> so that you can uh, catch the hole with, uh, with a pointy bit of the screw. So just a bit. And I don't know if you can get your finger in behind and feel if it's coming out. <laughs> Otherwise, just press it in against. I uh, just need a little more. Do is that you can, and you find the spot there, then because it looks like it's not going all the way into the hole. So if you reverse the machine, no, not there. Uh, on the side, yeah, and then pull a bit out. I'll hold it here in place. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Okay, and then reverse it forward again, and then screw it in. Press slow, slow. Bit more. Up. Oh, be careful, not too fast. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Perfect. <laughs> okay, what's wrong? <laughs> so now we got one battery in on the shelf and we made this support that's just temporary until we do something good. And now we're going to try to get the second battery up and hope that it will, that we will succeed. So we made it. We had to do some modifications and just uh, lower it a bit because we couldn't get the batteries past up here. But now two will be here and four will be underneath. It's just great. So we got everything sorted the way we want it and know that the batteries fit. You know, I'm trying to get off all this old rest in here and it's quite the job because I need to put a flat surface here so we're putting in a piece of wood that we're going to glue down so that the batteries will have a firm and even surface to stand on, but this is quite the job. So we finally did it. We managed to fit 
six batteries in here where there would normally only be room for three. Yay. We are so happy now. So I make this shelf, or we make this shelf, to have two here. That was quite the, the puzzle to get it in here. It was like, what's the game called? <laughs> So I put in the hatch and I marked the holes and I'm going to thread the holes as well and hope that works. So I just need to add some ceiling there, but I'm not going to do that before we finish the project. Great, it worked. Today it's blowing like crazy outside, so I'm going to have a look at the installation here is the 12 volt power and I really love what they did here is put the positive just behind the negative and the cables they will be chafing up against there until I get a big short so I'm gonna have a look at what I can do here move it maybe even to the other side yeah so that's the project for now So, I think I got most of it sorted now. Um, the positive bus bar, I made a scratch in the back so that it won't be able to fall down if the screw loses, loosens. And I pulled out positive cables here from behind, the negative bus bar, and I'm making uh, I'm making a cover for it. I'm making a cover for it so that it will be covered up. And I'm going to mount these uh, positive bus bar. All right. And the engine, DC to DC charger, are mounted here. So. so this is the cover, and I fabricated. 
I'm going to sand it down now and give it some paint and I'm going to mark it negative bus bar So I cut up some of these uh, pieces here. And they're going to be mount they're going to be mounted down there so that batteries can't run back and forth. So I have to drill in this contraption here and it's up. Very close to the battery here. And I won't be able to use the normal drill because it's uh, it's too big, it doesn't fit in here. Try to drill it here. In there, this one will angle too much and hit the battery. So I got this little one here. That's nice. So this is the end result, everything is tied down, can't move around, it's just the way we want it.